Alrighty, first up on our requested list of topics is how to tell if things are in series versus parallel. So, how to tell if things are series versus parallel. Okay, so let's say we have a circuit. Just a nice little reminder, this is the signal for a battery. It's got one long side and one short side. The long side is your positive terminal and the short side is your negative terminal. So let's just draw a bunch of resistor dudes. Boo -doo 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 -boo. So how to tell if things are in series or parallel is going to be the same whether you have resistors or capacitors. Okay, so there's one circuit and then let's look at another one. That looks like this. All right. Okay, so here we have two circuits. We have a series circuit and we have a parallel circuit. If things are in series, there is only one way for the current to go. So my conventional current comes out of my positive terminal and travels around. It has to go through this one it has to go through this one because there's literally nowhere else for it to go and it has to go through this one. So these three dudes are in series. Current has no choice but to go through those. So series. This one, our current comes out, gets to here. When it gets to here, now it has a choice. It can either go through this branch to get back to the negative or it can keep going. So when current has a choice, that's when you start saying, okay, some things are going to be in parallel. So in particular, two things are in parallel if they share the same chunk of wire on each side. So in this case, these two resistors share a chunk of wire here and they share a chunk of wire here. I'm gonna grab my colored pens here in a sec and that will be a little bit easier to see. So if they have the same chunk of wire on each side, then those are said to be in parallel. Okay, so let me locate my super fantastic color pen or even just a color pen. Here we go, here's some orange. All right. So what I like to do is use colors. So in an ideal world, a piece of wire is perfectly conducting, which means everywhere along this wire is going to have the same potential. It's going to have the same voltage. So things are in parallel if they have the same potential, the same voltage on both sides. There you are. So this entire wire is at the same potential. And then down here, this entire wire is also at the same potential. So if you're a visual person like I am, two things are in parallel if they share the same colors. So all of these guys have orange on one side and green on the other. So all of these things are in parallel with each other. So what if we have a circuit that is a mixture of the two? Like this. So using our colors, boop, 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 boop. We come out of our battery, we get a chunk of wire. I hit an obstacle, so I move to a different color. Then I have this guy over here. And then I have this guy over here. All right, so looking at it, these two guys, right off the bat, they share two colors. So both of them have purple and blue as their colors. So these two guys are in parallel. 
So when you are taking a huge circuit and smooshing it down into an equivalent circuit, you always want to look for relationships between two things at a time. So it's usually easiest to start towards the right or look on individual branches and see if there's things that you can squish together. So right off the bat, these guys are purple and blue, they're in parallel. So if we combine these down, they're going to have some equivalent resistance, which we'll talk about in a later thing. So this one's just about how to tell if they're in series or parallel. So because I started off with purple on the top, they're still going to have purple connecting to their equivalent resistor, and they're still going to have blue coming out the other side. So I noticed these guys were in parallel, so I can combine them together into an equivalent resistor. So now my current has no choice but to go through all of these resistors. There's only one path that it can take. So that's in series. So parallel, you have choices to make. Series, you don't. Two things are in parallel if they have the same voltage across them. Things are in series if they have the same current through them. So the current has to go through everybody.